Hello everybody and welcome back to my Football Manager 21 Let's Play series. We're about to head into the match against Blythe Spartans, our third match of the season. Um, don't have a lot to brief you on before that. Not a lot has happened. Um, Colder Silver is still here. He's not gone anywhere yet. I have rejected some of the uh, contract, some of the club offers that we got, which were pretty poor. And I've now left some of the big boy ones. Some of the big offers. Um, I did try to offer him out to clubs for 500k. See if I could get some more offers to come in. Um, some higher offers. See if I could ever get back to that elusive, you know, 750k that we had come in originally. That the club accepted before I went to him and um, cried. And said, please don't sell him. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to get that much money but you know if we could get 475 if he takes the deal with oxford or you know 400k if he goes to derby he's probably going to go to birmingham i would think i don't think he wants to move to scotland to play for hibs but and i certainly wouldn't want to go and play a friendly in scotland but you know derby county or birmingham would be good moves for him possibly but anyway We've got a match to focus on against Blythe Spartans. Um, and we're going to be here. Stops is still not fit. I would have liked to put him in that winger position, really. Right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to rotate a little bit. We're going to give Coxie a chance to play from the game start. I know Campbell's on a bit of a run. He got those two goals in the last game. But we're going to have to, basically, because of the substitution limit in the matches, we're going to have to keep rotating players a little bit. So let's go with Jordan. And if it's just a case of every match, swap my strikers around so they play 50-50 matches. Um, and so be it. You know, let's do it. And we're nice to see us in the Hartest United colours again. In our lovely purple strip. Cameron Green gets out of play. See, Cameron Green's probably going to be the player that's... I would say he's probably a little bit going to be a little bit unlucky. Because when Cole does go, Cameron's going to drop into that wing-back role. He's going to take over at wing-back. Which means we're probably going to end up playing somebody else. Then are going to have to play someone else at left wing. It's probably going to be the new guy that we've signed. Whatever his name was. <laughs> I can't remember now. Is, is he on the bench? I don't know if he's on the bench or not. Torre. Torre. That was it. Torre is the player we brought in in the summer. Who can play left midfield. He can also play a striker. Again, gives me a few options. Having got rid of, obviously, got rid of Warsfold. And released all the non-contracted players at the end of last season. In favour of keeping all the good players on part-time contracts. So, that, you know, if clubs do want them, we will get money. I mean, that's a good thing. If we hadn't had Jack Lee on a part-time contract, we wouldn't have got 50 grand for him. Because the club would not have had to have paid us or compensated us. Cole De Silva, if he wasn't on a part-time contract, we would not be getting, you know, 300 grand for it. <laughs> um, that's just the way it goes. So, some of my decisions have been very good for the benefit of the club. Um, 
just I just wish the board wouldn't be so keen to sell players. I wish the board would be strong enough to put the foot down and go, no, you have a contract, you're going to stay here for that contract. We might sell you at the end of the contract, but right now, our um, long-term goals are dependent on all the players who are at the club staying at the club. Because I can't keep going out there and scouting for fresh talent. I've got to spend more time fucking hunting through the database to plug the gaps in the team than I do playing the game sometimes. You know, you don't see the amount of work I do off camera to try and find players to flip in, come in and be superstars for us. And then the board turns around and sells them after a season. But yeah, another goal for Green. Green's definitely scoring plenty of goals this season, which is nice to see. Robson did so well to the finish. There's Oyigoki. You gotta do the Oyigoki. Do the Oyigoki. Yeah, that chance's not gonna get old. But he might not be at the club long enough. There's the silver with a foul. Mighty Blythe Spartans, eh? They came up with us from the league last year. If anyone's ever seen the um, the show Football Manager Ruined My Life by Tony Jameson, you'll know about Blythe Spartans. Because they were like the club that he managed famously i think he was also in um the documentary um that looked at football manager an alternative take on reality or something like that i think it's called the football manager documentary both of which are available on steam if you're on if you if you if you put on steam and have a search for them there there, there are videos that you can buy you can buy the football manager documentary and you can also buy the uh, tony jameson show and football manager ruin my life <laughs> they're definitely worth a watch if you're able to you know get a hold of them it's cameron green second goal of the game excellent there must have been an own goal. No. Why did I think it was 3-0? <laughs> I was just about to say it must be an own goal because there's only one, one of our players scored. Good. Very pleased with your performance, lad. Keep it going. Been an own goal. Wild. Wild are probably the team that are going to boss this league, I think. They're probably the strong candidates for winning the league. If I had to pick anybody. Do it. Closing down. Cameron Green. <laughs> Beelan. Bird. Beelan. Needed a goal. Needed a goal. Oh, Lewis Moore, you've let one in.
Oh, they're getting a bit aggressive. Don't, don't concede another one. <laughs> oh, there we go, 60 minutes into the match, and now the opposition start to pile on the pressure. Starting to have chances. Here's how you go, Key. Beelan again. To Bird, to Beelan, to Robson, to De Silva. Someone's trying to get in there. Bird smashed that so wide. That was untrue. Looking at the fitnesses. Mm. A lot of yellow across the board there. The silver has hit the post. Silver, bird, green. All right, 70 minutes is up. Time for us to inject some fresh legs. Uh, we're going to go. Callum Casey for bird. Or Cissé, should I say, not Casey. Cissé. I'm uh, only going to bring Marquez Muir on for... Who? Mackay, who's only having a, a, a decent game. Who's got more in the tank? De Silva or Cole? Cameron Green for De Silva. No Torre. Bring him on. There. Made me decisions. Made me choices. 2 1. It's probably a gamble. Get worried when they take a goal kick because you think there's going to be one of them big oofs up over the top of everybody. We've seen a couple of times. Jordan. Green. Corey. Seaside. Green. Beeman. Back to green. To Torrey. Green. <sighs> Snatches it wide. Snatches it wide. Come on, Jordan. You're going to have to hit the shots with a lot more power from that distance if you're going to hope to beat the keeper. Placing shots does not work from that range. Oh, what? 
However, that's because Kemp's does not got match fitness and can't keep up with the pace of the play. But that might have just been one of the most wasted opportunities ever. There was a good overlap there. How you go? He played a ball and Kemp's to couldn't get anywhere near it. That's shocking. But 2 1. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Good win. Moves us up to fourth place in the league table. It's very obviously important. Early form breeds confidence. And we need that. We need that. I'm not so sure. I don't know what. I don't really want to do match practice two days before a. Uh, Older Silver going to Exeter? Probably not, I wouldn't have thought. Next professional debut. Beelan Shines. Praise Beelan's performance. Blythe six game unbeaten home run ends. Offering me a bunch of players. Oh, hang on a minute. He might be useful. Especially if we sell the silver, bringing in a player who can play anywhere along the back. Harry Spratt at York as well, look. I mean, he's not going to be as good as Colder Silver. No one can be. But, um... I'm going to have to assign somebody. I don't think Lucas Powell is any good. Don't. Wickham Wanderers. In offer for Beelan. Uh, no, ask to renegotiate the transfer. Dude, what 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 are they doing to me? What are these guys doing to me? Negotiated seventy six k up front. Percentage of profit from next sale. Percentage of profit. We don't want profit. We want percentage of sale flat. Let's see if I can't get a bit more from somebody. Lock them in. Offer to clubs. The chairman's just sabotaging my team. Selling all my good players. He really is. He's just trying to sabotage us. Wickham in offer for Beelan. Really? 
That is the offer for Beelan. I'd like to reject that. I really would. Right, so we, we've now got 89,000 up front. Percentage of prop 30%, we're going to get 1.6k for every game he plays for the first 10 games. We're also going to get 32,500 after he's appeared 10 times. We're also going to get a friendly out of it. He is going to Birmingham for 350k percentage of next sale, and we are going to get a um, a, a friendly out of that. So goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh man. I don't care what Steve McLaren has to say about us operating with a director of football. I'm just, I'm just gutted. He's already gone. Didn't even get to say goodbye to him. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Wish him well on his new 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 adventure i mean i got to tell i got to have a conversation with joe healy before he left but man how to destroy a club they had to destroy your club in such easy steps Lack of depth in goal. So now all the players are complaining that our um, goalkeeper's not good enough. We're at the contract stage. We're going to lose Beelan as well. Finances. We've got 70k in the transfer budget. Man alive. Man alive. Can't believe the club would do such such self-destruction from the board. I hope the fans riot. I really do. Getting rid of our top players for such cheapness. It's a disaster. It really is a flipping disaster, this. Mm. I can see why so many people, when they're doing this lower league management thing, get so frustrated and end up leaving the clubs and taking jobs then in higher leagues, in higher divisions, because at this level, you're just on a hiding to nothing because you can't build a team because your board keeps interfering and selling all your players. The transfer list, Kane Lewis, apparently. And there's the move that I said was going to happen. Green was going to come in. taking that role um, yeah we're not going to get any money for him because he's on a non-contract 
whether he chooses to go or not is a different matter. Man, alive. Can I look at what we're spending on scouting? Can I increase that at all? Next season's transfer budget, nil. So they're going to gobble up all my money. That says to me, they're going to gobble up all my money. Have we got enough? Maybe going to do that. Probably not, I wouldn't have thought. At least then we'd be scouting players that are a, a little bit above me. Um, which would be nice. Ward? Yeah, pretty average. Reese Wedderburn? Hmm, pretty average. It's just knowing. It's just knowing, isn't it, really? Where we're going to get players to fucking replace players. Every time the board interferes and sells someone. <laughs> The Grantham brought six players in. We've got rid of four. And there was me thinking we were strengthening for the future. And um They've done the dirty on us, the board have. I mean if Beelan goes, that's gonna be five players. Oh, so frustrating. How do people cope at this level, really? 12 first team players. No, we're going to set none of you. You will be available because you're on loan. You will be available because you're on loan. You will be available because you're just not good enough to be in the first team. Um. You can be available. Because you're probably not good enough either to be in the first team. Powell. Can we persuade him to join? Was it what was the info there? Barking. Join Reading, mate. Join Reading. They're in the English Football League. They're in the Championship, mate.
up to ask. Trying to get rid of him. That's the formation we're going with. I played Jack Stobbs instead of Kempster. Nine, winger. Thank you. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. All right, submit the team. Motore is disappointed, unhappy about playing out position. You're playing as a left winger, mate. Get used to it. Go out there and impress me, lads. Come on. We're in front of the home fans. You shouldn't need to be psyched up for a match of this importance. Home league match. Oh, Cissé. We're going to need some players. I mean, again, what are we going to do when Beelan goes? I think one of the things I'm going to start to do, I'm going to start putting um, release clauses into players. Even part-time players can have release clauses. And that might help me. Because if I put a release clause on a player... The board will expect to receive that amount of money from a club. And it will stop them, the board from selling all my players cheap. Because they'll expect to get the release clause from any bidding club. And that might be what I have to do. I might have to put... When I negotiate contracts with players, I might have to put in release clauses. Because that will stop the board destroying my team. see we've been a little bit more um, threatening from set pieces it does look like I feel sorry for Cameron Green I really do because he was really really look, fitting into that winger position really well Midfield at wide midfield position, roll, and now, now the club's just um, ruined it by selling Cole, who was the perfect fullback to have behind him. Now, now unfortunately, Cameron's going to be fullback, so he he loses his attacking role because he's the the next best left back we've got at the club. Good clearance there by um, McGraw. That was a tough position to be in there with the defender because he's he is on a caution. Four A's being played out of position. He's gonna have to get used to it, unfortunately. Because um I don't have anyone else who can play in that that spot.
It's a bit different when they're playing as like um, wingers further up the park. I mean, I suppose that's the only thing I could do. I could push him up a spot. But then he doesn't like that. can do drop him back to where he was meant to be robson will drop into that role he's not going to play there though we're going to need to bring kempster on uh, mcgraw has been bought so it might be sensible to bring Marquez on. As well. To protect against getting maybe a red card. Andy Dallas, second goal of the season. There's their equaliser. Yes, still go ahead with a tactical change, definitely. Cameron Green, Wolf goal of the season. Bad our bushes a little bit there, I think. Right. I'm going to bring Cox on. The only reason being that Ramey has done absolutely nothing in this match. There's Adu. Oh, could have gone anywhere, Lewis. is going in here there is oh good save well held keeper are you and trying something's a bit creative there Ops, a seaside. Robson, come on, Robson. There's a chance there. We're not getting the thumping victories that we had last year, definitely not. It's a corner. Come on, lads. Top Z. Okay. 
Max Robson was on top form. Excellent. Excellent, Max. 2-1. Nice home victory. Don't know what the attendance was. We'll find out. Find out soon enough on the uh, post-match report screen. We have now moved up to top of the table. That's where we're supposed to be. Marshall, Real Madrid make Marshall offer. Be interesting. 771 in attendance. That's quite a uh, rise in fans. 385 of those were away fans. Him a bit of a boost. Oh no! TNS boss, who's TNS? The New Saints. I don't think he's going to go play for the New Saints. I don't think Campbell would do that to me. Let's have a look at transfer window. Let's have a look at Premier League. Uh, Man United have signed four players. William Carvalho from Real Betis for 34 and a half million, potentially rising to 46 and a half. Pedro de la Vega from Lanus for 4.9 million, potentially rising to 8.75. And Mikel Marino from Real Sociedad for 41 million. Who the heck are these players? He's a central midfielder. He's 25. Come on. De La Vega, he's 20 years old. He's a left winger. How many left wingers do Man United want to sign? Because they've bought a load. And then William Carvalho, 29 year old midfielder. As someone who's played to save as Man United, that doesn't fit in with the um, club's. Uh, Vision, does it, of signing players for the first team who are under 25, 23, and English? <laughs> players out. Jesse Lingard went to a club in Qatar for free. Aliu Traore, young kid. He's joined um, St. Etienne, so he didn't last long at the club. He didn't. One season wonder. Mark Helm went to Rangers Reserves. Amanda Matic went to Burnley. Icky Barger has gone on loan. Noam, Noam Emeron, 18 year old left winger. Oh, he's got some stats on him. And who's the other fella? Kiki Barger, 24-year-old Spanish lad who can play pretty much anywhere down that left side or right side. He's on loan. They signed him, Manu signed him for five and a half million. From Asuna in Spain. Oh my word. Well, what can we say? Are we going to make any signings? Are we going to make any big plays? For anybody? Depends if Beelan goes, doesn't it? Will Lancaster have been offered a free transfer? You know what? I probably need to maybe think about signing him. Huge prospect. Yeah. Negotiate contract. Uh, I'm going to offer you a part-time deal. No 
few a couple of years. I don't know what you want per game. But let me offer you maybe £85 a week. I'll offer you... Five hundred K five hundred quid signing on fee. Clearance fee of a hundred quid. Add clause. Let me go for a Do a minimum fee release clause. I can't seem to apparently do a um, release clause. Beelan has gone to Wickham. So there we go, folks. Another player has gone been taken from us in his prime well well folks mark harris is he one of their players he is no he's not he's one of ours he's a 16 year old but anyway, folks, we've reached the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please go ahead. Give me that thumbs up. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel. Share the video everywhere you can. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. I'll see you all again very soon with another video. For now from me, it's goodbye. Cheerio, folks.